In the days before double-stack magazines, plastic Wonder 9s, and advanced bullet technology, laws were enforced and lives were protected with round guns stoked with 638 specials. It was a different time. History moves along and innovations occur. Tactics and threats evolve. But there's definitely something to be said for a well-made wheel gun here in the 21st century. This is the Smith & Wesson Model 15 Combat Masterpiece, which says a lot about what and who this revolver was intended for. The Model 15 is a six-shot, double-action revolver built on Smith & Wesson's classic K-frame. It was designed for the most common revolver cartridge of the day, the 38 Special, and has a 4-inch barrel, although other barrel lengths were offered over the years. The Model 15 takes its lineage from the classic M&P 38, introduced in 1899. Over the decades, the M&P revolver evolved into various models, notably the 6-inch barreled K38 Target Masterpiece released in 1947. This model became known for its accuracy and quickly gained favor with shooters across America. Many police departments, along with the FBI, lobbied Smith & Wesson to make a revolver based on the Target Masterpiece with a 4-inch barrel and a quick-draw front sight. That revolver was introduced as the K38 Combat Masterpiece in 1949. 1957 had Smith changing all of its models to numerical designations, and the Combat Masterpiece became the Model 15, while its close sibling, the M&P, became the Model 10. Over the life of the Model 15, Smith rolled out various changes which are noted by a dash number after the model number. This Model 15 is a 15-4, made between 1977 and 1982, the first of the Model 15 designations to not have a pinned barrel. The Model 15 was one of the most commonly issued 38 revolvers in law enforcement for decades, up until the end of the revolver era in the late 80s. It was notably carried by the LAPD and numerous federal agencies. The Model 15 was also the standard issue sidearm of the U.S. Air Force Police from 1962 to 1985. I purchased this Model 15 used a few years back for $300. I have a feeling this was a police trade-in judging by the extensive holster wear, but have no way to confirm it. It weighs about 34 ounces, and I've had these Packmire grips on it pretty much since I got it. Despite the heavy cosmetic wear, it is an excellent shooter. Like all the older Smith revolvers I've owned, the trigger is just to die for. Very smooth for a double action revolver, and relatively easy to shoot well. I enjoy the adjustable target style sights, and have them regulated for the 158 grain lead bullets I usually shoot. When I purchased this 15, I had the intention of carrying it now and then, but I just haven't felt the urge. It's pretty much been a range companion and has been very reliable over the several hundred rounds I have fired through it. It's just a little too heavy and large to EDC, although I do have a JM Custom Kydex George appendix holster for it if I decide that I want to. Just to get a sense of the size of a Model 15, we'll look at it up against a Glock 19, one of the most popular carry and duty pistols ever made. If it were to see regular defensive use, I would use my favorite Buffalo Bore 158 grain lead semi wad cutter hollow points, which I have tested through the Model 15 and run fine as expected. I typically shoot 158 grain semi wad cutter reloads when I'm punching paper at the range. Since there is little collector's value in a heavily used Model 15, I thought that maybe this would make a fun project gun down the road. I'd considered parkerizing it or doing something to make the finish a little more substantial and maybe upgrading some internals, but I haven't found the need since the gun is both reliable and accurate, and I don't want to allocate funds to parkerizing at the moment. I'll certainly hold on to it and continue to enjoy shooting it regularly for now. Keep your eye out for any good deals in these older Smith & Wesson revolvers. They tend to be reliable, accurate, and rugged. They make great range or woods guns, and could serve as a completely acceptable option for carry or home defense. There's just something undeniably cool about an old police wheel gun.